Hi everyone, we are going to do cardiovascular assessment, which is lab four. We're going to go through some definitions to start out. Cardiac output is abbreviated Q, heart rate, HR, stroke volume, SV, blood pressure, BP. Systemic vascular resistance is SVR. Cardiac output, Q, next slide. The product of heart rate and stroke volume. Product of heart rate and stroke volume. So Q equals HR times SV. It's measured in liters per minute. Q can be increased by increasing heart rate or stroke volume. Next slide is heart rate. Number of times the heart beats in one minute is measured in beats per minute and is often abbreviated BPM. Next slide is stroke volume. Stroke volume is the volume of blood ejected from the heart per beat, per beat. Next slide, systemic vascular resistance. Uh, we also use total peripheral resistance, so if you want to put TPR next to that, um, we're going to use those interchangeably for this lab. Resistance provided by the systemic blood vessels. Vessels can be dilated, which means increased in diameter, or constricted, which means decreased in diameter, depending on the conditions that the person is under. Blood pressure, or BP, is a product of cardiac output and the systemic vascular resistance. So BP equals Q times SVR. BP represents the force against which the heart must pump. A higher BP means more work for the heart and a greater risk of long-term heart trouble. Blood pressure, systolic and diastolic. Systolic blood pressure is blood pressure during systole. Systole is heart contraction. Diastolic blood pressure is BP during diastole, and that is heart relaxation. It's measured in millimeters of mercury. Blood pressure levels. Normal value is less than 120 over less than 80. So very important to recognize, less than 120 over less than 80. So somebody with a blood pressure of 120 over 80 would not be considered in the normal range. They'd be considered prehypertensive. Prehypertension is 120 to 139 for your systolic, and the range for diastolic is 80 to 89. And hypertension is defined as greater than or equal to 140 over greater than or equal to 90. So there's your blood pressure levels. Make sure you know those. Make sure you understand those. Equations, Q or cardiac output equals heart rate times stroke volume. Blood pressure equals Q times SVR. Blood pressure during exercise. Exercising muscles require an increase in blood flow above normal resting rate. This demand is met by increasing Q. As Q increases, SVR must decrease to offset the rise in Q. Keep blood pressure from reaching dangerously high levels when exercising. So if you look at the equation down there at the bottom, there's a small up arrow with BP because your blood pressure does go up slightly. Uh, your systolic is going to go up more than your diastolic. There's a large increase in Q or cardiac output, and then there is a decrease, not as large as the increase in Q, but there's a decrease in SVR or systemic vascular resistance to keep the blood pressure from getting too high during exercise. Electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG, parts of the ECG, the P wave, atrial depolarization. That is when the right and left atrium contract and shunt blood into the right and left ventricles. QRS complex, I'm sorry, QRS complex is ventricular depolarization. During that time, right and left ventricles contract and shunt blood to the lungs and the whole body. The T wave is ventricular repolarization when the right and left ventricles relax. Looking at the next slide, the P, Q, R, S, and T waves are electrical events that cause mechanical, which are contraction relaxation, events to occur. So that's very important to remember. Those waves there are electrical events, and they cause mechanical events to occur.